Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this week's video is a little late, um, in fact very late, because I have been waiting for this particular thing to get in. You've already read the title so you know what it is. This month's fairy loot box, uh, actually July's fairy loot box, it's currently August, but this was actually a little late. They have new couriers I think, um, and Things were a little different. I think there was one item that was delayed and had to be returned. I emailed them to ask them about it and they were very nice and gave me the information. I can't look at it right now because I'm using my phone to um, to film. So I don't remember exactly why it was late, but they were very kind about it and they apologized and it was a pleasant conversation. I've never had any issues with their uh, customer service at all, so. <laughs> All right, so I can already see some very exciting things. Let me try, oh, I don't know if I should, I need to find the spoiler card immediately. Oh, there it is. I think I found it. Oh, I did not know. All right, uh, the spoiler card, oh, I found it. Okay, I found it. It's okay, I found it. I see things and I'm getting very excited about the things that I see. Okay, so. All right, so the very first thing that I see is a ceramic mug in a box and it is the Institute from the Shadowhunters Chronicles is it a Chronicles is that what it's called I know I mean I read them all they're all like right here well not all of them I'm missing some love that world love that universe don't love this show but that's my opinion and we'll not get into that now but I love the entire world so this is gonna oh, I'm so excited I'm gonna open it then I'm going to read the spoiler card. Oh, for those of you who haven't seen one of these before on my channel, I will pick out things such as this and then read from the uh, spoiler card as I go. This particular theme is Magic in the City, and this is the lovely card. I'm a little out of sorts today. This was not planned for today. I wasn't planning to film today. I thought it was going to be earlier, and then I was like, oh, maybe it's coming next week. Doesn't matter. Let's go. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna have so many great coffees and teas in this. Okay, we're so happy. This is the first thing on the card. We're so happy to bring you this amazing exclusive Shadowhunter ceramic mug. It depicts some of our absolute favorite characters from the Shadowhunter series by Cassandra Clare. Behold, Jace, Clary, Tessa, Will, Jem, Emma, and Julian. The characters were illustrated by Taracha. Taracha? I never say that right. I'm sorry. We hope the mug will bring some magic to your home. Okay, next. It's this package and it says, discover your destiny. It's a fortune cookie. Why did I not, why did that not occur to me? I was like, what could this possibly be? A fortune cookie, obviously. What's better than a fortune cookie to bring some magic to your day, daily city life? The one in your box is extra special as it carries the wisdom wisdom from some of our favorite YA books out there. What advice did you get? Share it on social media and tag us. I'm going to open it and open the cookie. Get out the fort. Oh, oh, it's already broken. So haha, I don't have to open it myself. I am so excited because this is, I just saw where the quote's from and it's one of my personal favorite books. Never Trust a Duck from Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. See, the funny thing about this is for, I want to say in like the last, I don't remember when, I think it was early high school, end of middle school, I walked around saying this all the time. I'm not even kidding. And I still, every single time I see a duck, I think of this quote. So this is quite perfect for me and I'm so excited that I got this one. Oh, I don't even know how many there were. It makes me very happy. Thank you so much, Fairy Loot, for that. Next is this gorgeous little like banner. Oh, this is so cute. I like this a lot. The Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan was the very first that popped into our minds when thinking of this theme. We hope you love this exclusive pin banner designed by none other than Ink and Wonder Designs. It's so joyful and magical, perfect for displaying your ever-growing enamel pin collection. I actually have, I mean, you can see I have a pin right here. I have some on 
a few boxes ago we got a cork board thing like it was it's right there I can show you that that banner thing and as you can see I have a bunch of pins on it I also have a bunch of pins on my jean jacket which I it's downstairs but I was thinking of moving those because I don't really like them there and I was trying to decide whether I wanted to put them on my jacket because those pins tend to fall off very easily but I can put them on here oh oh there's string for it I was like looking at this like what the heck is this it's 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 string there we go that's better that makes more sense I was like how am I gonna hang this up I guess I'll put tack yeah got it it's all oh yes I've been oh I was just thinking about this um, so it's a lovely candle here. I was actually just talking last night to someone about how I needed more candles. So I feel like this was the same thing last time I got a fairy loot candle. I just got like a huge whiff of it. It is Princess of DC, cotton, cinnamon, and vanilla. The Princess of DC candle is brought to you by the amazing A Court of Candles, which if you haven't seen their online store, it's amazing. I bought two candles from them very recently, actually, and it was amazing. They're, they are, I'm already, I've already finished them, which is very disappointing for me, but I highly recommend them. We absolutely had to include this hilarious candle inspired by our featured book in February. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer. 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 I'm bad with names. <laughs> this exclusive candle features artwork of Harper by Tara Joff. You can pur purchase an exclusive 8 ounce version of this candle at accordofcandles.com slash fairyloot. This smells delightful and I'm super excited to have it and I'm going to look up that book later. And I'm sorry to the author for not being able to say your name. I'm horrible at those things. Okay, so this is the next item. This is the Ninetale Fox mug rug. I've never... It's a coaster. It's a coaster. Now, of course, this beautiful mug this one deserves all the royal treatment place it on the exclusive nine-tailed fox mug rug this stunning coaster was designed by the talented obsidian and we are obsessed with it it is inspired by our book of the month i'm excited i actually i need a coaster so this is perfect i don't have i don't own a coaster i, I don't have any coasters so thank you okay so there is this now when in doubt bravado always bravado by melissa gray the girl at midnight do you need to bring some change while crossing from our Monday wor mundane world to a magical one? We got you. Use this bravado coin purse inspired by Melissa Gray's book, The Girl at Midnight. This design is brought to you by the Nutmeg on Harlow. Cool. This, I'm actually, I have a really old broken wallet that I've been using, and it's got a slot for coins, but they always fall out, and there's like a tear in it, never zips right, always falls out. So. I'm going to put this in my book bag so that way there's not just spare change everywhere. And instead, I can actually have somewhere for my change to go. Oh, the necklace says, Fancy stepping into Diagon Alley through these... Fancy stepping into Diagon Alley through an easy-to-miss pub on one of the busy London streets. Don't forget your new Diagon Alley enamel necklace, which will show you... Which will show that you are a true member of the wizarding community. This stunning exclusive design by Bookmark Tattoos is inspired by J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. Gorgeous! I love it! I should put it on now. I'm gonna actually put it on now. Perfect! There it is. That's really nice. I really love that. I think it's beautiful. Alright, moving on. Oh, is that everything except for the tarot cards and the book and book stuff? Alright, so our tarot cards for today the sun and the moon our next two tarot our next two cards from the tarot collection are the sun and the moon the stunning art by Loena art features two characters inspired by the Harry Potter series they are gonna go all of my tarot cards are actually I keep my tarot cards now in this book box that I got in the last fairy loot box I also keep all of my bookmarks in here as well and other miscellaneous things so so far the tarot cards that I have the hermit temperance death 
and the magician, the moon, and the sun now. Here is our fairy scoop, which I always love to read by myself. I never actually show it that much on camera, I feel like. Ooh. This is the letter from the author, which I, it's typed, interestingly. Uh, and I also never read it on camera. This is always something that I keep to myself and read in my own time. Personal choices, the bookmark. Beautiful as always, and going in my bookmark book box, the book of the month. Wicked Fox by Cat Cho. Okay, I did not know that the book was gonna look like this. I did not look beforehand. I always open the box as soon as I turn on the camera. But look, my eyeshadow matches the book. The funny thing is I was gonna go with purple eyeshadow because Fairy Lou is more purple, but um, that's not important. This book is gorgeous, look at this. Sprayed edges, which I love always. It's a matte cover with some slightly glossy, the text is slightly glossy. Oh, I love this nice and red. I'm a big fan of that. It is. It's signed by the author. Oh no. It's ripped. This one's a little torn. Look. There's a bit torn out of the page. That's a little disappointing, but it is signed, so that's nice. I've never had a ripped book from them before. That's actually a little disappointing, but oh well. It's all right. I mean, it's still readable. It's not like it's illegible or anything. Our featured books, our featured book Wicked Fox by Kat Cho is an urban fantasy set in Korea and inspired by Korean mythology. In this story, Seoul is filled with magic and mythical creatures and our main character is a nine-tailed fox that feeds on the souls of bad men to stay alive. The edition is also a fairy loot exclusive with sprayed edges and it's signed by the author. The stunning character art is done by the talented Kayvon Kaylee. Alrighty, so that is everything in the Magic in the City July 2019 Fairy Loot Box. I hope that you enjoyed this video and had a fun time with me revealing all of the fun stuff inside. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time.